I start now. <coughs> yeah. Okay, good morning, dear TV and teacher Fred. I'm Fang Zhiping. I was born and raised in a lovely family in Taiwan, Taipei City. I graduated from the affiliated senior high school of National Taiwan Normal University, which is just located beside the old AIT office. Um, I'm now a junior in I'm junior majoring foreign affairs in CPU, Central Police University. I can say that I'm a adaptable and goal-oriented person. Um, to explain why I'm a why I'm an adaptable person, I would like to share my working experiences in different places and countries. I've been carrying stainless steel in a shabby factory while I graduated from junior high, and I've been working doing housekeeping and serving guests in a guest house in Busan, South Korea before. And I also participated in an internship in a police station in Taichung before this summer. And no matter what the job is or where I work, I think I'm well adapted into the environment and the job. And next I want to talk about why I describe myself a goal-oriented person. To, um, um, like my, for example, my short-term goal is to pass the motorcycle and car license this winter vacation, and that's my long-term goal. I would like to catch up my steps on studying in order to pass the future exam. And in my leisure time, I like to do outdoor activities such as scuba diving, skiing, and mountain climbing and traveling. And but recently I'm addicted to Netflix series because it's just too cold outside for me. Yeah, and I like to challenge different things too. I tried archery and corfball before. I bet most of you guys in this classroom, including our two teachers, doesn't know what corfball means. It's a team sport invented by a professor in Netherlands, and it's similar with basketball but without a backboard and dribbling. Yes. And however, um, those characteristics I just told doesn't seem related to our future job. Thus, I'm going to, I'm planning to become a pilot after I earn enough money and I fix my nearsighted problems. Yes, I'm thinking that at least I can travel all around the world and be working with a bunch of young and lovely ladies in my working place. Thanks for listening. Okay, sounds good. All right, Dallas. Go oh, ahead. Good morning, teachers. I'm I'm Tai Zhongwen. Well, my family was never a wealthier one, among others, since I was a child. Upon applying for a college. A, a student coming from Central Police University visited my school and thus, and thus giving me a glimpse of what it could be if, if shall I become a police officer. So what it could be shall I become a police officer? Maybe we'll let Tim to stop for okay. thinking about that. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna have a time. Alright, go Tim. Hi everyone, my name is Tim and I'm from Lanhou County, the geographically geographically center of this island. And I am a shy and introvert person. So I took off my glass to prevent from eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> My Mandarin name is Zhang Youwei, and 
English name is Tim. I recently gave the definitions of the name Tim. T I M T represents to temperance. I represents to imperturbable, and M represents to manners. I think I believe that no matter where you're from, manner can change one man. And I'm a I'm the youngest children in my house, in my family. So when I was a kid, my brothers, I have three brothers, always bullying me. So I know that. <laughs> I know that when you have power, you have to protect others. It is the reason why I want to be a police officer. When I was a child, I wish that when I was bullied by my brother, I hope that a superman or a police officer can save me from the situation, but there are no supermen, <coughs> there is no police officer up here. So when I grew up, I decided to be that superman, to be that police officer when the bullying situations happen. And growing in a Born in the county of the countries, I'm a white boy. My interest is to mountain climbing, mountain climbing with my friends. And photographic. That's all. Thanks for listening. All right, Dallas. Okay, may I start over again? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Hello, teachers. My name is my name is Hai Zhongle. So, my family was never wealthy or money my life since I was a child. Upon applying for a college, a student coming from Central University came to visit my school, and thus giving me a glimpse of what it could be should I become a police officer. Well, although I had come. Although I come to this school out of financial concern, but I also gain up, end up gaining the resolution of helping others. It was during my internship at Lok at Taichung local police station that I have met many victims of um, victims of unlawful behavior. Whether the result came from a complete complicated criminal incident or or an unfortunate traffic accident. The, the distorted the distorted emotion that the victim that the victims expressed is the one thing I would I would never forget. As a police officer, I am able to stand tall and brave at the position of authority, providing aid to those in need and capturing those wicked. It is our duty to serve for those conduct action against the law, but also remain adjust to the law at the same time. Well, with with such power, despite having such power, we should never get ahead of ourselves. Since the same kind of power may also suffer those innocent, we should always be aware of the power that we possess. To the system, as notion has known my house, has known my head for the past few years. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So, my question to you: Can you describe briefly about the responsibility that you have in the future? From me? Yeah. Okay. We have to, as a police officer, we have to know about the laws because enforcing a law in the future and we have to protect our our citizens and like kind of serve for them with their if there have any law questions or some criminal things happen to them. 
and yeah, it's most of the things that we should have done in the future. Uh, sorry, what's the pressure? Can you briefly describe about like your job responsibility in the future? Well, it's our job to to provide aid to those who need. Mm -hmm. So whoever comes seeking for help, we should always provide them with a warm heart and a warm hand. So we, we should never turn away those desperate needing of our help. I think that my responsibility in the future of my job is to find a balance between how to protect the justice and law and to prevent how to most necessary how to how to how to how to violence the people's rights less and finding the balance point I guess it is my responsibility my responsibility in the future okay okay, okay. so first for uh, you said that your uh, one of your career goals was to be a pilot yeah so what um, what made you choose the like the police university over maybe the like Air Force, Army, or Navy. Usually, usually like uh, uh, like the most important thing is the the cost of flight training. So yeah, yeah. I chose this school because of my dad. Because most of my family members are police officers, mm -hmm. so they wish that I can enter this school and become a police officer, same as them, after the four years mm -hmm. education. Yeah, and because. You know, in Taiwan, it's hard to get into to pass a test to become a pilot. Maybe it's easier to learn if you learn it by yourself in maybe like Australia or other countries. Okay. And you come back to apply for the job, it's easier to enter the company, okay. become a pilot. But in that in that way, you have to earn enough money to supply your education fee and your like your living in yeah. other countries. So that's why I will have to work for about. <coughs> okay. Okay. That's a good goal. And then uh, Dallas, yes. you said a, um, one of the big reasons that you want to be a police officer is because you want a like a stable job with stable income. Did you pick foreign affairs police because the the money is higher than normal police? No, actually, our foreign affairs, the, the income of foreign affairs is not particularly higher in in police than in the police standard. Okay. So what what I chose this what I chose this subject is because well I'm quite interested in foreign language well in my middle school and senior so so I chose this I chose this subject because I thought I would learn more about foreign language uh, such as Korean Japanese or English but mm -hmm. it, it turned out the fact isn't isn't what I thought. It's not about Korean. We just have a conversation. Yeah, it's, it's all about Vietnamese. Yeah, it's or it's all about Vietnamese or uh, or Indonesian. Yeah, yeah. Not, not about Korean. Yeah, not about Korean. <laughs> not about Japanese. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then for Tim, uh, you said you're a outdoorsman, like meaning you like outdoor activities. So what which outdoor activity do you think helped you the most in your uh, police training? In my police training, I think that um, mountain mountain climbing helped me a lot because mountain climbing can build a uh, well bodies in the future if I face some dangerous situations I can uh, I can handle it. Mm -hmm. And I also love to bodybuilding in the gyms. It gave me a it gave me a sense of uh, I when I finish my bodybuilding it seems that I finish a go in my life and also I get a healthy body. Did you ever did you ever do any hunting in the uh, outdoor activities or not? No. You should try and so no hunting. No hunting. <laughs> okay. It's about time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay.